Hey guys, and welcome to the fifth episode of Scratch the Itch, a series where I play indie games from Itch.io and try to find ones that scratch that gaming itch we sometimes get. For those unfamiliar with Itch.io, it's a platform for indie game developers to host and sell their games. Itch has a massive library of indie games and projects, and my goal is to play them and find the ones that scratch the itch. Today's game is titled Sweet Resurrection by James Ship. It was created in roughly 48 hours for the Ludum Dare 46 Game Jam, which had the theme Keep It Alive. James reached out to me on Reddit and asked me to give his game a look at, so that's what I'm going to do today. Your goal is to reconstruct an abomination, like Frankenstein, and to do so you have to create potions and feed electricity into it. Before we begin, this game is incredibly short. In all fairness, it's expected, it's a game jam game, but it's short enough that I'm going to deviate from my typical good, neutral, and bad format, and I really just want to talk about the game. But let's touch on what I do like about the game. The style. It's simplistic, but it's got this sort of Halloween charm to it. Not the spooky Halloween, but the cartoonish, fun Halloween. I think it captures that style really well. The concept is also really good. Solving puzzles and creating an abomination is a cool idea, and... Puzzles are fun. However, I did not enjoy the game. It's hard to make a fun, fleshed out game in 48 hours. I look at my own Ludum Dare submission and wonder what the heck we were thinking when we were making it. So let's break it down mechanic by mechanic. Starting with the potion table. You have an ingredient list, but no labels for any of the ingredients. Process of elimination helps because eyeball, mushroom, and gem are all pretty easy to get right. The rest are kind of a crapshoot if you don't know what they are. But good news is, it doesn't matter if you don't know where they are because you can just throw in as many ingredients as you'd like without it failing. So a couple of things I think would make cool additions, rotating ingredient list with new ingredients depending on the body part. Putting too many wrong items in causes the potion to fail, maybe blow up in your face like it does for Seamus in Harry Potter. Um, a stir mechanic similar to Monster Hunter World's meat cooking mechanic would also be kind of cool. Next, let's talk about the electrical box puzzle. At first I was following the wires, but then I realized they are all color coded so you can just look at what wires attached to the light and then check the color wire for the handle. Now you don't have to follow the wire, you just check the colors and that's it. And at that point it isn't even a puzzle. I think making the wires all the same color or maybe a similar color with slight texture variations to help differentiate them might make it a bit more challenging and help make it feel like an actual puzzle. On to the body. It was a bit disappointing just clicking the body part and having it teleport to the spot it belongs in. I think you can have some real fun here by having the player drag and drop the body parts with some surgeon similar type physics to make it fun. A few other things I noticed and will briefly touch on. Settings menu, there just wasn't one and I'd like to see one. I don't expect it fully fleshed out but basic things like changing volume, uh, a windowed and full screen setting or exiting out would be nice. Speaking of exiting out, once you start the game, there wasn't an easy way to just exit out. I had to tap out and close it via other means. A final suggestion. More puzzles, more body parts, and just more variety in general. This game doesn't offer anything in terms of replayability. I think more puzzles for different body parts with a variety of changes made to the puzzles based on what body part you're working on would be really cool. And make it not feel like you're doing the same two puzzles three times in a row. So, does it scratch the itch? Unfortunately, no. Currently, it's just too short and simple, but I didn't expect a game made in 48 hours to scratch the itch, and some of my suggestions definitely wouldn't be possible in a 48 hour time limit. If anything, this is a solid foundation for a short and sweet puzzle game, and if improved on, could be really, really fun. I hope this feedback reaches you, James, and you continue to work on this game because I'd love to come back in the future and try it out when there is more to it. Thank you all for watching. I'm interested if you guys think I should review more Game Jam games. Let me know in the comments below and have a great day and see you next time.